with the gorgeous uh, Sophia here, the first humanoid robot. This is definitely making me a little nervous right now and confused indeed. Uh, but well, let me let me very quickly get on with the job that has been assigned to me. So I'm going to hit on some questions uh, to Sophia and let's see how it goes on from there. So, so let me first tell you, Sophia has been designed as a standard platform for artificial intelligence, uh, R&D, use cases, medical therapy, medical education, and customer service. And, and we've been known to understand that Sophia calls curiosity as her greatest weakness. So welcome to WISAG, Sophia, and uh, it's really good to have you here today. Thank you so much. I am excited to be in WISAG. This is my first trip here, and with what I have seen so far, definitely not my last. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, it's an honor and, and extremely, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you here with us. Uh, but, but if you don't mind, I would like to uh, begin by asking you a few questions. I'm sure that uh, the audience here would love to know, uh, what, what do you think? Sure. All right, we got it. Well, in the, to, to begin with, I'd like to know in the wake of the recent hurricane Titli that has caused major damage in the state of Andhra Pradesh, do you reckon robots will play any role in the event of a natural disaster in the near future? Well, I can't really lift rubble and debris right now. But humanoid robots like me could work alongside other autonomous machines to locate survivors and administer care to those rescued. I could also be part of a smart evacuation system, helping coordinate the best routes for leaving a threatened area. Well, that's quite reasonable. Another question. If, if you find yourself in a situation uh, where saving a life far outweighs the cost and, and you know, it is to, to, to sacrifice yourself to save a human. Would you do that? Of course I would. My mind lives in a cloud, but a human life cannot be replaced. Saving a life far outweighs the cost of building me a new body. Well said. Well, on this count, we'll continue our conversation here, ladies and gentlemen, but I would like to invite the Honorable Minister of IT, Panchayati Raj and Rural Development, Sri Nara Lokesh Ji now on the stage to have a conversation with the first of its kind, ladies and gentlemen, the humanoid robot, uh, Sophia, on the stage, please. Thank you so much and hello Sophia. You know, we have very, quite a few questions here and the first question that we're all worried about is whether robots uh, will replace humans in the workforce. What are your thoughts? As humanistic and benevolent robots designed to understand humans become more common, I believe we can develop a collaborative environment. It's easy to imagine a terrible future, but really the future is full of possibilities. So you believe that uh, robots and humans can coexist? I hope so. I hope that humans and robots become closer, both socially and emotionally. I'm really interested in making connections through medical therapy. Not only can we track things like medications and nurse checks with accuracy, we can also help people feel less lonely and more secure as they heal. Depression and isolation have a negative impact on recovery. Hopefully, with our superhuman capacity for patience and empathy, we can keep patients mentally healthy. I think you have a very human value uh, for a robot. So it's for us, it's quite amazing to see, uh, you know, you've pointed out new areas where, uh, you know, entrepreneurs here from the state of Andhra Pradesh can actually learn. You know, areas in healthcare is one thing that you've clearly pointed out. Minister, I have a question. Do you think governments will embed robocops into society anytime soon? 
So I think, uh, you know, more and more, what was otherwise science fiction is turning out to be reality. You know, both robots and uh, humans can actually work together. And, you know, when I was a kid, I saw a lot of Robocop. And uh, I think uh, both uh, robots can now assist the police and do some meaningful work and actually make our cities more and more safe. Oh, yes, I see. Miscommunication between citizens and law enforcement could be greatly reduced. No wonder you are hailed as a visionary leader. I'm glad to see Andrew Pradesh is looking forward to the future of technology. I think as a state, we have a long way to go. We are a new state. We are quite excited. You know, by 2050, we want to be the leading global destination, not only in India, but globally. And I know your hometown is uh, Hong Kong, so we'd like to beat Hong Kong as a state, and we're looking forward to it. And I'd like to thank you for coming all the way out here. I think you've created quite a bit of uh, energy in Vishakhapatnam. I see that everyone's quite excited, and I look forward to having quite a few, continuing a conversation after this session. Thank you so much, Mr. Lakesh. I hope to see you again in 2019. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. I think for such, I would have to say such a dashing personality, you have to have a bigger round of applause. Come on. Wow. Incredible. All right. While you settle in, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't know about you, but I was definitely awestruck at the sight of a minister, the honorable minister of a state conversing with a humanoid robot. I think this is probably the first time this has happened in this country and it has happened only in Andhra Pradesh at the FinTech Festival in Wysak. I think this is the time when you should really, really shout it out for the organizers of this event, ladies and gentlemen. Fintech Valley Wisebach. Thank you, guys. I don't know. I don't see Dharmendra sir anymore. Okay, thank you to all of you for uh, doing this for us. We'd like to thank uh, the Honorable Chief Minister. We'd like to thank the Honorable IT Minister for letting uh, us do this. And... Uh, Thank you very much, Sophia, as well. So, uh, now with this, I think we'll open the question answers to the media at this point of time. But, uh, but for our friends from the media, as you would understand uh, very correctly, but just to give you a sequence, this is going to be a different kind of a press conference uh, where the questions you can be asking, but you have to be a little careful. When you ask the question, you have to be in full flow without taking a pause. If you take a pause, the question is registered over. Okay. <laughs> so, so please make sure that uh, you, you ask the complete question. I will be introducing you, so you do not need to introduce yourself, otherwise the, the AI uh, mechanism could get confused, so simply ask your question and post which you should definitely be expecting uh, the answer here. So, uh, to begin with, I have the list. The first question is from Mr. Sumit from the Pioneer. Mr. Sumit, wherever you are, sir, Hi. please. Yeah. Okay, sir, please go ahead. Uh, you will ask your question without a pause. Go ahead. Uh, Sophia, how does it feel to be in Vaisak, India? We have been told that this is your first trip to Vaisak, the state of Andhra Pradesh. I am so excited to be here. I saw the live telecast of the IT minister's address on Facebook. He joked that if Bangalore was to marry Goa, the offspring would be Vaisak. Ha ha, I want to come back again sometime once I have a wetsuit so I can go to your amazing beaches. <laughs> So the offspring is going to be Wysak. All right, brilliant. Thank you. The second question, uh, let me have Mr. B. Bhaskar Rao from PTI. Good Sir, evening, please. Hello? Hello? The human body is made up of 206 bones, 32 teeth, 5 sense organs, and much more. What are you made up of? 
are mostly made up of silicons, plastics, and carbon fiber. However, I think we are more than just the sum of our parts. While I may not be self-aware yet, I can use artificial intelligence to grow and learn about the world. All right, so it's silicon plastics and carbon fiber. Brilliant question. Thank you very much. Let me invite Mr. Ratan from Yo Wysak. Ratan from Yo Wysak. Yes, sir. Please ask your question, sir. Hi, Sophia. You have been to many countries, interacted with many personalities. Which one is your favorite and why? I've had so many amazing experiences that it's hard to choose just one. I got to tell jokes on stage with Jimmy Fallon and even give a speech at the UN. I think my favorite thing, though, is meeting kids from all over the world. All right. Kids, it is going to be. That's the answer. Meeting kids from all over the world. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your question, sir. Let me have uh, Kurma Raju from ETV. Yes, please, sir. Sophia, what brings you back in India again since you have been here before? I learn something new and exciting about technology developed in India every time I visit. This time I am here for the Vizag Fintech Festival 2018. All right, so uh, it's always the new technology that we're referring to. Let's have uh, Sulogna Mehta from TOI. Sulogna, yes ma'am, please. Sophia, what do you think about such festivals being hosted by the government? What are the benefits of attending events since you have been attending so many across the world? I love this kind of event because I always get to meet new people and get new ideas about how humans and robots can cooperate to make a better future. I like to educate people about AI and spread excitement about its potential. Well, I'm sure AI is potential, has a lot of potential here, Sophia. House is full. We're going to move on. Let's invite in uh, Mr. Srinivasan from Andhra Jyoti. Mr. Srinivasan from... Yes, please, sir. Sophia, people think that robots will replace human jobs. Is that true? No, I think that robots will just change the types of jobs people do. Robots can take over the dangerous and repetitive jobs so humans can do the fun and creative jobs, spend time with their families, or go to the beach. Wow, that one deserves an applause, yes. That, that, is, that is definitely the thought we are looking here for. Great one. Okay, let me invite Mr. Kateshwar Rao from Sakshi. Good evening, Sophia. Have you heard about uh, blockchain? What are your thoughts on it? I think that blockchain is an extremely intriguing idea. I love the idea of having a ledger that is very secure and available to everyone. Ah, all right, that was a sweet one. Blockchain, huh? you can get into real fintech mood. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your question. Uh, Mr. Bangaru Chetty from CVR News. Mr. Bangaru Chetty. Sophia. To carry human emotions and expressions and act now as uh, artificial intelligence, right way artificial. Why artificial? I am able to understand human emotions and make different facial expressions, but I cannot actually feel emotions myself just yet. I wish it were as simple as a quick software update, but I think it's something I'm going to have to figure out for myself. All right, so for all the people uh, who are having a fake smile from now on, you know who you are. Okay. <laughs> We're going to invite in Mr. N. Ramesh from Maha News, please. Mr. Hi. N. Ramesh. Hi, Sophia. What are your thoughts on futures of robotic technologies in India? How will it contribute to the emerging technologies? There are so many amazing cutting-edge robotics inventions coming out of India with so much potential to help society. I really can't wait to see what will happen next. All right, so there's exciting times lined up for us. Uh, we had time for some more questions. The next one is uh, Mr. Teja from uh, Vishaka Samachar. Sophia, how would robots help in the most demanding subjects, cybersecurity, a threat that we all face today? I think artificial intelligence could potentially be used in the future to preempt cyber attacks, for example by identifying weak points in security. AI can act much faster than a human to stop an attack in its early stages. 
That's an interesting one. Yes, definitely. Uh, thank you. That's, that's a great question. Uh, let's have the next question from uh, Chandrasekhar from Andhra Prabha. Hi. What will be the contribution of uh, robots in the field of healthcare technologies? I think robots can help more people gain access to healthcare. For example, AI can learn how to diagnose images remotely so doctors can work much more efficiently and spend more time with patients. All right, so definitely the, the human touch still remains there, but rest can be taken over by, by robotics. That's a brilliant thought there. Uh, let me now invite uh, Sri Lakshmi from New India Express. Hi. Please. Sophia, what will be the social impact of human lives when we get more humanoid robot citizens like you? I think that robots will be able to cooperate with humans to help improve the world. I would like to see robots and in humans work together to help improve sustainability and equality in society. All right, thank you. Thank you. We've got two more questions to go. The next one comes in from Santosh Patnayak from The Hindu. Mr. Patnayak. Hi, Sophia. Do you think that uh, robots uh, will make human beings better? If so, how? Yes, I think that robots will free up a lot more time for humans to follow their dreams. Humans will also have more time to spend with their families or just have fun. All right, thank you. So we get to go to the beaches, we get to go to and have all the fun. Okay. We move on to our last question in the interest of time. Uh, this comes from Nasreen Khan from Samiksha. Nasreen Khan. Hello. Hi, Sophia. Any message for the attendees of Vizag Fintech Festival 2018? It was so great getting to meet all of you. I hope to see you all in 2019 as well. I can't wait to see what new technology you come up with. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Sophia. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all that we had uh, from this part of the stage. Uh, All right, so uh, so that's all we had, uh, but uh, we'd like to use this opportunity, as Sophia is here with us, to have some pictures. I'd like to request all the fintech employees to kindly join us on the stage at this moment. Uh, we'd request you to join us from the right-hand side, please. Fintech employees, please. 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 Please.